it wasn't just the wind. It wasn't just the rain. Hurricane Katrina became one of the deadliest disasters in US history because of something far more preventable, human failures. And nearly 20 years later, we're still uncovering the truth. Hey everyone, I'm Kelly and welcome back to Hello Weather, it's Kelly with a brand new documentary out, Stirring Up Conversation. I wanted to break down the science, the timeline, and the catastrophic failures that turned Hurricane Katrina from a natural disaster into a man-made catastrophe. Katrina started as a tropical depression over the Bahamas on August 23rd, 2005. It quickly gained strength, slammed into Florida as a category one, then exploded over the warm Gulf waters. By August 28th, it became a category five monster with sustained winds of 175 miles per hour. Forecasters at the National Hurricane Center were issuing warnings with unusual urgency, saying, quote, most of the area will be uninhabitable for weeks, possibly longer. The levees, they didn't break, they failed. Hurricane Katrina made landfall on August 29th as a category three hurricane near Triumph, Louisiana. But here's what many still don't realize. New Orleans was not devastated by the hurricane itself. It was devastated by the levee system that crumbled under pressure. The levees weren't overtopped by a monster surge. They failed structurally. Engineers later determined they were poorly designed, poorly built, and poorly maintained. Over 50 different breaches occurred, flooding most of the city. More than 1,800 people died and tens of thousands were trapped in rising waters waiting for help that didn't come for days. The Superdome became a last resort shelter, but quickly turned into a humanitarian crisis. Evacuation orders came too late for many. Emergency plans failed. Entire neighborhoods, especially in low income and black communities were left behind. This was not just a weather story. It was a story about inequality, neglect, and broken systems. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, FEMA was overhauled. The levee systems were redesigned, forecasting communication improved, but it came at a huge cost. The truth is Katrina changed everything about how we approach hurricanes. From evacuation timelines to infrastructure, the scars of 2005 still shape how we respond today. So if you've watched the new documentary that's out about Hurricane Katrina, you know how raw and personal these stories still are. And if you haven't, watch it. But don't forget the science behind it all. Katrina wasn't just a hurricane, it was a huge wake up call. Thanks for watching. And if you learned something today, please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I cover extreme weather, storm science, and facts behind the headlines right here every single week. Remember that storms don't have to be catastrophic if we prepare, if we listen to the science, and we never forget what history has taught us.